Uh, very much for the introduction and thank the audience for sticking around on a Sunday, uh, late Sunday afternoon. Um, before I talk, I want to just acknowledge my main uh, contributors to this talk. I like to do it first so then I don't forget. So, um, so most of the work here was done by these three graduate students who are all at MIT. He's actually going to Berkeley shortly on a postdoc. Actually, I think he just left last week actually. Um, uh, some uh, other people that uh, are sort of like research scientists and Chris Love, who's a faculty member at MIT that's responsible for uh, the biology part of the experiments and for the overall project. <coughs> so what I'm going to talk about is uh, I've been working for the last five or ten years on trying to take fields that are not really very sophisticated from a systems and control point of view and automation point of view and try to bring them up to sort of modern, uh, modern ways of doing things. And so what this talk we'll talk about is, is our, our late most recent effort or most active effort now on doing this for the manufacture of biologic drugs. So these are drugs made from cells that are proteins. Um, and so currently the amount of uh, drugs in the pipeline that are biologics is now 80% and it's growing. And especially there's been huge advances in oncology or cancer drugs that are really in this category. Now, if you look at how these things are actually uh, made, they're made with a lot of manual people running around in bunny suits with gloves and, and so forth. Um, not exactly the most modern way of, of certainly doing manufacturing and not very integrated. Um, they'll have a bunch of separate unit operations, typically batch, and they'll run them for a period and they'll even slide things around, move things around, move it to another place, and then just keep repeating that. Now, what's disadvantage of that is that it can increase chem contamination, biological con contamination, which does happen. Um, and once you get a contamination in a facility, it's actually quite a big hassle to, uh, to remove that contamination. Um, and so we like to reduce contact with personnel. Um, we like to have things fully integrated, everything sealed, integrated, uh, protected from contamination of, 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 of people. Um, and we'd also like to increase product quality and purity, increase yields and flexibility, reduce production times, reduce scale up risk and reduce footprint. So you have something that's very small, you can sort of move around. Um, even you might put it in a box, for example, and just move the box around. So it's a completely integrated unit and then you can make your drugs wherever you'd like. So this is a high level outline. So what I'm going to do first is I will talk about the biological drug manufacturing system. Um, this will be sort of high level view so you can see what we're talking about. Then I'll talk very briefly about the kind of control approach that you use for building one of these systems. Now, all the systems we've been building are, their intent is to be fully autonomous or fully automated systems. So the user of these systems could be someone that doesn't, could be even a soldier.